I'm just thrilled to be here again. This will be my last form in um, Metro County, and I'm just thrilled to see a lot of the familiar faces that have come for a long time. I remember my first one. It's been good here. Cookies have been good. It's never hard to get get Jim to come to something like that. But uh, you know, the Senate and the House have done most of our standing legislation. We're now into the area of appropriations and um, waste and <coughs> legislation, which means um, any kind of tax or any kind of tax credit. And we also have uh, some wide differences in uh, our budgets. Right now, um, we have a, a lot of conference committees that will have to address some of those those issues. We can get into particulars about that if we want to. But uh, we have ed reform on the table yet, and we also have mental health reform, I believe. Uh, we had a meeting uh, of all the parties involved on uh, last Thursday on the mental health reform, and I think we've got uh, all the policy in agreement, but we just have uh, the funding issue left. And uh, three out of the four caucuses agreed, and we're just hoping that we can all come to an agreement. So, the um, governor's been involved in that heavily. We've tried to make this as nonpartisan as we possibly can. And, and I think, for the most part, the atmosphere's been really good in the legislature on those kind of issues. And uh, so, the House seemed to get a little more excited about stuff um, when, you know, some of the partisan stuff. But we really have had a, a pretty good session. I'd be more than happy to talk about any of the budget issues later, but I'll let Josh kind of give you an update. Well, I think most of our house issues are self-inflicted, but um, <laughs> that happens, doesn't it? It does. Um, I don't know. I guess on the house side, pretty much reiterate what Amanda said. We're just kind of passing through these budget bills. Um, we passed through uh, the education budget bill this week. Um, I was a no vote on that. I think I was one of three Republicans that voted against the Ed budget. Um, I'm a fiscal conservative, but I'm also an educator, and it just it was too much. I mean, it, it just honestly, I just, I get frustrated sometimes with the process where, um, you know, and, and Amanda can confirm this is on the House side. I mean, it's just the, the, the initial dollar amount that they come out with on a lot of these budgets is just so low. I mean, it's, in, and then it's this, you know, we're going to send it over to the Senate and they're higher, and then it's going to go to conference committee, and at the end of the day, we're going to come in and agree on something in the middle. Well, I would rather just agree on something in the middle to start with and not have to take these bad votes on these underfunded budgets that they're passing through, you know, so, I mean, you know, I, it is, it's frustrating, but, um, so we, we did pass that through this week, um, <clears throat> and I serve on Ways and Means, and so we got some things that are, you know, trying to circulate through Ways and Means, um, one of the things, you know, there ain't, Put a fee on anything and suddenly you can put it through ways and means at the end of the year, you know. And so, ironically, we're seeing a bill come through for school start date because they can put a fee on it and then it comes through ways and means. So, you know, obviously the tourism industry and things like that are, are big on that. Uh, your state fair board people are big on school start date so that they can, you know, get more people through the state fair. But, um, so, you know, just there's some little oddities like that that are kind of working their way through. Um, on Thursday I sat through a um, pretty lengthy uh, meeting on, or subcommittee meeting on TIF, which I'm sure Two Stan hours, is going it? to bring up. Um, you know, and, and there are. There's a lot of, you know, the whole TIF issue, it's not a one-size-fits-all type of situation. I mean, you know, and, and I tell that to people down there, I'm like, you know, in Mitchell County, because actually during this meeting they talked about counties that have tipped their wind turbines. And, you know, I think we've done a good job of utilizing those TIF dollars to go back into infrastructure and road improvements and things like that. Uh, and then you got other cities or other communities or other counties that have used TIF for what they're calling this new terminology is piracy. And you're using TIF dollars to basically steal business from one community to move to a, another community. Probably not the best or the wisest use of TIF dollars. Um, so, you know, what it takes is it takes somebody to screw up the system and then suddenly we got to bring light on it and, and talk about it all across the board. And, and I know that, you know, believe me, I am fully aware of the implications of TIF in the city of Osage and in the county of Mitchell. I mean, it's, it is huge for us. And so, 
I mean, I've been going, I'm not on the subcommittee, but I'm still going to the subcommittee meetings so I can listen in on it. And ironically, it's kind of an interesting situation because you have Senator Bolcom, who is the Ways and Means Chair on the Senate side, who has partnered up with Tom Sands, who is the Chair of Ways and Means on the House side, Republican, Democrat, who are completely on the same page. And then we got Representative, well, and then we got Representative Jacoby and Representative Feenstra, Republican and Democrat, who are on the other side of the table from those two. But you got to remember, you got Jacoby and um, and Bolcom, who one basically stole Von Maher away from the other. So there's some interesting dialogue that takes place there. Um, so it's just, you know, I don't know. The light is at the end of the tunnel. I would think two more weeks and we'd be out of there. A lot of the stuff just going to get turned over to conference committee, and and then they're going to go from there. Um, Fuel tax, I'm sure there's some of you interested in the fuel tax side of things. Uh, the fuel tax, I just read in the paper or online last night that um, Speaker Paulson made public comments that said as far as he's concerned, that's a dead issue and that we will not be taking a vote on fuel tax. Um, I don't know. I, 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 I don't know. I, I, I don't know where we're going to find the money to improve roads and infrastructure in rural Isle. I mean, Find me another place that we can get that. Um, you know, one of the things with the fuel tax is you're getting over 30% of it's coming from people coming through our state. I mean, regardless of what happens, we are going to be paying a tax of some sorts to fix our roads, whether it's through an increase in your property tax or whether it's at the pump in the fuel tax. But something has to happen. And if we don't do something now, it's going to cost us more money down the road because you're going to basically be starting from scratch on some of these roads and bridges. And, you know, what it is right now, the reason it's not being brought forward in, in a lot of cases, I'm, I'm willing to bet, and I'm not in leadership or of that nature, but I'm willing to bet it's all about getting reelected. And this is a re-election year, it's a campaign year, and so I'm willing to bet there's some people that are fearful that, you know, they'll get a postcard that gets sent out against them that says, representative or senator, whoever, raise your taxes. <laughs> it could just simply be that gas tax, but that's the headline on that postcard. So, you know, I don't know. I, I, it's frustrating, you know, being in rural Iowa and, and we're kind of up against the wall on some of these things. But, um, I don't know, that's kind of the, kind of the summary of, of what I'm seeing anyway. And, um, I don't know, questions, I know there's got to be good questions. After Josh started talking, I thought of other things because, oh. you know, we're, we're never like, oh, yeah. Um, but the workforce development center that was uh, a ruling that came down, and, and I'm you know, glad that uh, it was what it was because uh, we really have, uh, you know, unemployment. We need real people working with people, not just a kiosk. And uh, I know the move is to continue to go to kiosk, but uh, I run a soup kitchen, and there, the people that come in there are not going to be employed by walking to a kiosk. <laughs> and when you're counting every click that you make on there, eight clicks means you've had eight people or eight hits. That's, you know, I think there's some discrepancy in that as well. On TIF, I think the Senate's plan is much more scaled back. Um, and they've been meeting in the mornings on, on TIF. And a lot of what they're doing is, is uh, um, talking about a little bit about the piracy issue because uh, that's what really set everything in motion, I think. Agree with Josh about uh, Ben Maher moving very short distance to another location, very close, and um, and we're talking a retail investment as opposed to bringing new jobs in. Um, but what I, one of the things they were talking about putting is just who's getting TIF right now? Because a lot of people don't know. I mean, this county, you may not know what the TIF areas are, but just opening it up and telling where they are, not necessarily you know anything. Other than, than that, it's one of the things which would be good information. We're always involved in trying to get more transparency in government. Um, talking about limiting it, limiting it to 20 years uh, when you're doing, uh, you know, for the length of it. Now at that point you can redo it, but you know, 20 years. And uh, you know, some of the things, but it's a much more moderate approach, is my understanding. Senator Sauter is working on it through economic development, and then of course it had to stay alive and went into. Um, ways and means. So we, we've got a few things like that that are needing to be worked out, but I think it'll be a moderate approach um, 
on the tooth issue.